que después de 150 años de historia en el que decidimos replantearnos nuestra forma de hacer banca para adaptarnos a los nuevos tiempos, reinventarnos de desaparecer para crear un nuevo sistema moderno y eficaz que ya se entiende por todas partes y que nos ha convertido en un banco directo grande, el más grande. Hello everyone, welcome to Pelicump. A game about, um, something? Pelican-human hybrids? I'm not really sure, but it's surreal, as I guess you can already see. <laughs> it is uh, completely free. I'll have a link to where you can play it for yourself in the description. I heard about it from a site called creepygaming.net, which is a really nice resource for finding out about games that you might otherwise miss. I'll also have a link to that in the description. Other than that, the only thing there is to mention is that my usual playstyle is to go slow, take my time, sort of analyze things a bit, especially towards the end. And that's all there is to say. Let's go. Right. So I'm a pelican? Or I'm a pelicump? Or some I don't I don't know. I'm a bird thing. And I look kind of like a human, and my walking animation looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh look at that. That is beautiful. His body, his legs and his wings say that he's freaking out. But his face just seems impassive. Very, very strange. Anyway, I guess I need gas. Well, isn't it ironic that I'm some sort of a pelican thing, and yet I'm using a car to get around? Am I too heavy to fly? What's over here? Ooh. Okay. What's here? Is it a thing? Bullet found. Okay. I now have a bullet for the gun I don't have. Cool. There's nothing over here. And the open doorway I go. Oh my god. What even is that? Is that a, a screen? I hear a buzzing noise. Oh, maybe it's a monitor? One that isn't even square? Weird. Oh. There's another one. The end. <laughs> I guess there's people I'd want to kill. The Birdman. Maybe I'm on the run from them. Maybe that's why I ran out of gas. I've been going as fast as I can trying to get away from them. I guess I won't go back this time. Let's just keep going forwards until I guess I find a gun to defend myself with. Petrol found. Oh. Now I can fuel my car. Wait. Why was there petrol just sitting in the bathroom? That is really, really strange. And also, why are there rounds just in trash bins and stuff? That is also a little bit strange. Oh. Gun found. Well, okay then. I guess I can defend myself. I've got three rounds. Better make them count. Alright. I'm ready for you. You bastard. I 
There we go. Another one? Hmm? 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 No one else. Oh! <sighs> not gonna get in me. That's not the same person, is it? Wait, is that the same person? No. There's more than one of them. Come on. I'm waiting for you. Hmm. Alright, let's fill this thing up. Excellent. Apparently that's a very small gas tank. What the hell? <laughs> what? Okay. I... Apparently this car is more impressive than I thought. Why wasn't I flying before, though? I've got one shot left. Whoa. Oh. Wait. Is this my, like... My secret lair? Is that a chair? <laughs> the game just shut off. Um, okay then. There you go. I don't even know how to talk about that. However, I can say that's pretty much exactly this... Well, I can't say that's exactly the sequence of events I expected to happen, but I can say that's the sort of thing I expected to happen. Because I've played at least one other game by the same creator. And it was equally strange. I really like a style of games. Incredibly surreal. Always very, very short and incredibly strange, and no two are alike. I like what he does with the art. It's it's extremely pixelated. I mean, those are some massive pixels. It's very, very pixely pixel art. And yet, still, a lot of information is able to be portrayed through that. And there's even some really impressive lighting. Done with very few pixels. You know, a lot of a lot of extreme lighting, like bright light sources casting huge shadows. Which look very cool and eerie. Yeah, there's just a a sense of unease with everything. Like the the monitor, the TV, or whatever that was. That was just flashing and making a noise. Just un you know, uncomfortable to look at. Just casting really harsh lighting. In an otherwise very dark environment. Of course, as for what actually happened, I have no freaking clue. Maybe I'm some sort of a... <laughs> I don't know. A, a pelican-human hybrid superhero? That flew off to my cave and then sat down and started watching a... A something? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. But that's okay. Not every game has to make sense. I'm okay with that. Well, there's another little trip into the surreal. I believe the last game I played from him was... Mosquito, I think. Which had a similar art style that I really liked. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Pelicump. 
and thank you for watching.